What's the fastest way to build my column? That's a question I'm often asked, and I suppose in many ways it is the end game. It's the purpose or the reason or the result of why we do what we do. So here are my top five. At number one, it's gonna be master the techniques. You see, cutting and coloring here is a skill, and like all skills, with the right level of determination, discipline, dedication, and humility, you can master the technical skills that you need to succeed over time. We now live in a world where there's plenty of technical and creative education available, and much of it is now free on YouTube. Alternatively, always work with people who are better than you and learn from them and practice until you too can master those skills. Ultimately though, no matter how well you score in the rest of this list, your success in building your clientele will live and die by your ability to cut and color hair and to get the referrals and repeat business because of the fact that you do a good job. So step number one, master techniques is essential. At number two, build relationships. Now, I don't care how good you think you are at cutting hair, but believe me, your clients can get the haircut or color elsewhere by someone else. So what it is that keeps clients coming back month after month and hopefully year after year is the relationships that exist between the client and the hairdresser. Now, all too often when I visit a salon as a client, I'm treated as a commodity. In other words, there's no attempt made to, to build any sort of relationship with me. Now, the most simple way to start that process of building relationships is simply to use people's names. Use the client's name. Introduce yourself in normal conversation you know, and use their name. Now, don't overdo it. But remember, I can get the haircut or color elsewhere, but I can only get the relationship with you with you. So don't underestimate step number two, the importance of building relationships. And number three, deliver a great experience consistently. Now, hand in hand with the great haircut and the relationship is the experience that the client has. From the greeting to the refreshments, the music, the magazines, the conversations or lack of, you must be able to deliver a consistent experience that's in line with your brand values. Don't underestimate the importance of step number three, delivering that great experience. At step number four, use technology as a tool. You see, the biggest change in the way we build a full column of loyal clients is now about how we use technology. You know, digital marketing and all it encompasses from the salon website and apps to online booking and using social media has been a complete game changer for salons today. It's not that the marketing message has changed that much, but it's how we deliver that message, how we build and nurture relationships by using technology, especially social media, as a tool has completely revolutionized the process of building your column. So step number four is make sure that you learn to use social media effectively. Step number five is rebook. I'm a huge advocate of rebooking your clients back in for their next appointments before they leave the salon. Now, I know that rebooking is not necessarily right for every business model. For example, a lot of barbershops don't rebook, or if your salon is in a hotel or a tourist area, or perhaps if your salon doesn't make appointments and works on a walk-in basis. But for most hairdressers, if you actively get your clients to rebook their next appointments before they leave, it's gonna have a huge impact on how busy you are and how quickly you build up your column. So thanks for watching. And if this has been helpful and you'd like more tips on building your column, I suggest you read or listen to my book, Grow One Super Stylist. You can get it from my website, which is growmysalonbusiness.com. And if you don't already follow me on Facebook and Instagram, again, it's at Grow My Salon Business. So thanks for watching and have a great week.